Alright guys, this is an inevitable time where you're going to have to replace a print head. This usually happens when there's a major clog that you just can't debust. And some of the tools that you're going to need is going to be an Allen key wrench. 2.5 millimeter is what I'm going to be using for these screws. And of course a print head. I'm, this is going to be an Epson 4720. And it's going to be this print head that I'm going to be replacing. So what I'd like to do is make some room to access that. Um, I'll go ahead and close off all the channels. Once all the channels are closed off and pinched, I'll start making access room to access the uh, print head. Make sure you don't get them anywhere. Okay, after I remove these dampers to access the back print head, I'll do the same thing. I'll close off and pinch these other tubings. And then go ahead and remove carefully couple things to keep in mind, the screws I'll be replacing are these three. One, two, and three. Now I'm using a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the print head screws. Once you've got all the three screws removed, Go ahead and remove the print head, like so. And you can start going ahead and taking out the uh, ribbons. These are uh, electric tape that's pretty much just protecting the ribbons. So go ahead and remove that. So once you've removed all the electric tape from both sides, you'll have access to the ribbons. Alright, so I've got my new replacement print head, it's a 4720, and I'm going to go ahead and replace the ribbons uh, onto this newer uh, print head. And there's going to be two ribbons on both sides. Make sure you follow them carefully, and go ahead and uh, tape them up after. Once you've got the new ribbons attached and secured with electric tape, Go ahead and place the head back into the, on top of the uh, dampers. And again, the uh, two bolts are going to be on the left and there's going to be one right here. So go ahead and tighten them up. So once you've got the screws back in, one, two, and three. Go ahead and put the ink dampers back on there and you're pretty much good to go to align the heads and uh, begin your printing again. Make sure you guys prime the ink and uh, you're good to go. Hope this helps. The new print head is in. I've got the old print head here. I'm gonna try to do some work and see if I can unclog it from here. I might do a uh, ring cleaner and try to see if I can knock out some of those solvents that are stuck. But the printer is good to go. Print head is in. Make sure you guys prime the lines. Hope this helps.